we could go into all the thing about John Kerry. Um, what he's saying is not adequate, to put it mildly, but I will be very interested to track his uh, statements throughout the COP. He's leading the delegation, even though Blinken, of course, and not Kerry is the Secretary of State. And thank you, the hashtags are helpful. I'm going to drop a link in the chat to the page Keeping Up with Climate on by Kerry, because he is actually a tiny bit more important than the Kardashians. One, uh, one person who's going to be there at the rally of activists uh, is Congresswoman Ilhan Omar and uh, World Beyond War and Roots Action and others have, have emailed everybody we know in Minnesota's fifth district. Uh, and I've emailed in particular VFP chapter 27 uh, and asked, can you guys make sure that Congresswoman Omar mentions militaries uh, in her because she seems the most likely of the of the designated big speakers to be willing to. Uh, we'll see if she does. Mm -hmm. Thank you, um, thank you everyone for the fabulous conversation. Uh, we are rapidly approaching the time of night that some of us turn into a pumpkin. So I am going to. Um, leave you with a few reminders and invitations and close the question and answer session for the evening. Um, first, I'd like to acknowledge our late friend and collaborator, Tina Malcolmson, who many of you probably know. I served on the Peace Action Main board with her for years, and I know she was highly involved for many years before that in this community. Um, and, you know, so she would be delighted with all this information and the great conversation. I feel pretty confident this, this whole climate campaign is in her honor. Um, another reminder is that in November, members and friends of our Maine Peace community who took part in COP26 will be um, reporting back to share their personal experiences with us. And you can keep an eye out for details about that report back on our website, peaceactionmaine.org. Uh, while tonight's conversation centered on this honestly, truly spooky, disturbing issue appropriate to spooky season, fortunately, uh, this is one issue we can all come together to work on and help bring accountability for the United States military's contribution to the climate crisis, which leads me to the two actions I would like you to um, please consider taking. One is to sign the World Beyond War petition being delivered next week at COP26. I would say the most relevant thing right now is to please register for the online workshop with uh, which Lisa Savage uh, will be one of the uh, speakers. And that too is a way to get the message across without going to Glasgow, Scotland that you're watching and um, very concerned about what's going on there and learn more about the climate crisis and militarism. Thank you everyone for tuning in and being here with us on this Saturday night. And a particular thank you to our speakers, our local hero, Lisa Savage, Veterans for Peace presenter, Janet Wheel, and her collaborator behind the scenes today, Gary Butterfield, who was helping put in many helpful chats. Um, I mean, links into the chat. Uh, and, um, World Beyond War co-founder and executive director, David Sponson. Thank you also to all our local ally organizations who helped co-sponsored and put on this event. PeaceWorks Greater Brunswick, Maine Natural Guard, Global Network, Space for Peace, Maine Veterans for Peace, and the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom Maine. Please keep an eye on our website for other related events if you wanna learn more or get more involved as well as for those action items. And I hope everyone has a wonderful, warm evening and that their power stays on because I know it is storming here. So be well and take care, everyone. Great to connect. Thank you.